Hey, welcome back to DIY Willie. You know, I get comments all the time, people asking, hey, what's going on with the razor? Where's the razor? What have you done with the razor? Well, the razor is a very uh, difficult project to build. Um, there's a lot of thought that has to go into it, uh, a lot of time and a lot of money. And unfortunately, I have a lot of neither. I, have a, I don't have a lot of time and I don't have a lot of money. So, uh, I do things as I can. I constantly do something. I'll always try to do a little something on all my projects. But the razor, uh, the latest things I did was I installed the gas tank under the seat because I needed to fit for the for the uh, mount here. I needed to modify this uh, to to fit the tank. And now I, I'll have to make some type of reinforcement for this. I'll figure that out later. I also put the cooling lines in. I think I made a post about that, that I had done that. I think I did that a couple weeks ago. I don't remember. But something has come in, the mail, that made this whole project possible, the, what we wanted to do. And that is the clutch adapter. The adapter allows us to use uh, a Polaris Razor 1000 XP turbo clutch that's 2016 and newer clutch uh, it's a 33 millimeter shaft size clutch uh, versus the original 900 clutch and non turbo clutch which is a uh, 30 millimeter I believe so uh, let's take a look at that adapter now I apologize I didn't do an open box because man I was excited to get this but here is this adapter right here and uh, yeah, I've already got a bolt in it because I was so excited to get it. Now it took special bolts to go in it that'll go into the flywheel and, and to the engine crank. And uh, well, I didn't have those bolts. So I had to figure out, I had to get my, I guess, calipers out and measure everything. Measure these holes, measure the thickness of the material, measure the existing flywheel bolts, and just get things all figured out. Um, what I came up with our ARP bolts, they're uh, M10 by 1.25 uh, by 25 mil long, I believe. I believe that's what it is. And they're a 12 point head, so that fits inside the adapter perfectly and will allow us to install it. Now, the adapter didn't come with any hardware. I still have to get the hardware for the, the uh, clutch and because this adapter was made for I believe it's a um, Articat clutch it has a different uh, uh, thread pattern and bolt size for the, the bolt that holds the clutch then the razor the razor is, is too big it doesn't fit uh, the razor I believe is a is an M12 and what I need is an M10 so this spacer that that's needed for the clutch and everything we got to figure that out when we get to that point but let's go ahead and put this on and uh just take a look at it with it on the engine so we can see what we got going on yeah let's get these bolts out i've already got one out i'm going to take them out in a crisscross pattern Is it necessary? I don't know. Ow, ow, they're hot. Ooh. Now the, everything should sit there. Let me put these bolts somewhere there. All right, oh wow, I need the adapter. Now putting this on, I believe it's all evenly spaced. The crankshaft kind of pokes out a little bit and we have a recess section inside, inside the adapter. And it just fits in there like that. We'll line up the holes. Now I'm just going to put these in with the ratchet right now. I'm not going to try to torque them down. Because honestly, I want to look up the torque spec for that. I don't want to play games with this adapter. I want to have everything perfect. And we'll put some uh, Loctite on these. When we go to do them permanently. Also, I forgot. The package only came with five bolts and I need six. So I got to order another package of five to get just one more bolt. But we'll torque them in. We'll tighten them in right now. 
like this. Just like this so we can, you know, this also kind of proves my theory that this adapter works. I forgot I needed that extra bolt. I'll get those on order this week. Now the head is a 12.12 millimeter socket and as you can see it worked perfectly. So here is the adapter and this is a 33 millimeter adapter at this point but you can use the 30 millimeter adapter on here. It will fit on here or the 30 millimeter clutch. It will fit on and we still have to get the other bolt but when you do that it will push the engine further out to align the clutches and that's not what I want to do. I want to have the, well, for one thing, this engine's going to put out a lot of power, and I, I got to think ahead. So I want the larger clutch that it'll also sit back further on the shaft and help me line the clutch without pushing the engine too far to the passenger side. But what we can do is just put the, uh, the 900 clutch on here just to show you what we got going on. So here's my 900 clutch, and it'll just go onto the taper about that much. That's it. I might squeeze a little bit more onto the taper with the bolt, but like I said, we have the wrong bolt at the moment. So here's kind of what we're looking at. The clutch will be on. It's going to line up with the belt driven on the on the here. Right now, it's the engine sitting on it. The engine needs to come up. It's settled quite a bit since we put it in. But you can see what I'm trying to do here. You know, you get a look at it. It's just a simple CVT system like we use on the mini bikes. You know, this is a, another CVT. And I need to maintain, I need to maintain 10 and a half inches from here to here. So that way it use a stock belt. Otherwise I have to get a custom belt to fit it. I guess I also still need this bolt and the larger clutch. Here's another look just at a different angle. You know, this would work and I could push the engine over that much, but then we start running into issues with the shock again and the and the frame i really don't want to do that so if i push it over see how much room i got there to go over and the 33 millimeter clutch will go nearly all the way to the back over here and then that puts it that puts it well you can't see really but that puts it almost perfectly in line with the driven clutch take a little time to save my pennies to get that clutch um I don't know, I'll probably grab a, a cheaper one right now just to uh, get it and fit it up on there. I think there's one on the old jungle site called Mothers. I don't know. I see some mixed reviews about them, but it, they're about 300 bucks versus I think a, a Polaris clutch is like 900 or more. So I'll just get that one. It's like 300 bucks. I'll put it on there. That way I can continue with the alignment and getting the motor mounts and stuff made and... Uh, it should put me, you know, right where I need to be. So, uh, yeah, I'll get that clutch ordered up here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I just spent a, I just, uh, I just started working on the Samurai. And the Samurai is going to take a big chunk of my funds right now to get the new injector pump. That video will be coming soon of taking it off, shipping the injector pump off, and then coming back. And then we'll put it back on the Samurai. So I got to save up a little bit more so I can get that clutch and hopefully that clutch um, will be strong enough to handle the 2.2 liter Ecotec. I believe it will. If not, they're tunable. You know, we can change it just like we do the mini bike clutches. We can change this, the springs in them and the various parts to make the engagement different. And I'm not sure exactly where I want the engagement. I think I want it on the lower end because this engine is lower RPM than 
the motorcycle type engine that came in the Razor, the RPM range is different on this engine. So I think I want it on the lower RPM range so it engages quicker, faster that way, and it'll be more responsive with the engine, I think. Let me know in the description if you guys have a little more experience with that. Uh, in the description, I just said let me know in the description. Let me know in the comments if you uh, had any experience with these clutches and the engagement points and whatnot. I also think that I may tune the transmission with a 25%, I believe it's reduction. Anyway, a 25% gearing change. And I'm gonna run 32 inch tires. So with all that gearing and the clutch changes, I think the 2.2 will be right in its sweet spot where it needs to be. Again, we won't know until we get all the parts and get all the work done and uh, get all the weight on the vehicle, you know, get it done. Once I get this engine done, fully mounted and the clutch and everything, then I can start, I can put the body back on. I can put the uh, roll cage in it and start designing the roll cage that I need to protect the car. Um, I need to make the rear part of the roll cage removable. So I've got to get a couple of the parts that, you know, it's got the bolts in it to make that removable so I can pull the engine off the top. But we'll do the roll cage. I still need to make some changes to the frame here. This is actually a plate on top of the square tube. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the plate off. That way the uh, roll cage tube welds directly to the square tube. And then we'll make some gussets and some whatever, you know, all that stuff that goes here that makes it super strong. We still got to make this bar that goes here. We got a lot to do. So uh, getting that clutch adapter was one of the biggest, biggest things we needed to make all this work. Make the engine work with the clutch, make the engine work with the razor. Um, getting the body to fit the razor, you know, we already solved those problems. Now we just need to get all the little final details in. Like the motor mount's a pretty serious thing, but we'll get them done. And uh, then it just comes down to wiring and your radiator hoses and routing the cooling system. We still gotta get a radiator that's bigger. Uh, the fuel pump I'm hoping works. Uh, the engine management computer and harness. I mean, there's a lot we got to do. We got to wire for lights and radio and all that kind of stuff. But the progress, the the project of the uh, the razor, Baja razor, is coming along. Um, it's just slow, and uh, I'm the only one that ever works on it, so I don't get a lot of time, especially when work, my real job, gets in my way. You know, so uh, never fear though. I'm making progress, and it's always on my mind. I haven't stopped working on it. And we will get it done. So uh, it's looking really good. And again, that adapter was the missing link that we needed. We got it. And uh, let's see where we got it from. Hold on. I didn't show you that. This adapter comes from STM Clutches. Now they sell a 33 millimeter clutch that will go on there, but it's like two grand. And I'm, I don't have two grand to, to spin on a clutch right now. Maybe later down the road I can put that clutch on there when we start hopping up the motor and getting more power out of it. But I think just the uh, jungle side clutch will work for now so we can get all the alignments done that we need. I tried looking for a used one, but I couldn't find what I needed. I couldn't find, I could, I couldn't find it, you know. I could find a, a Razor 1000 XP clutch, but not a turbo clutch. And I guess the difference is that 33 millimeter. And I need that 33 33 millimeter shaft size clutch, which is the turbo clutch. So that's it for this video. Um, yeah, what else can we say? Well, that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, and definitely come back so you can see the progress on this Baja Razor project. I think we've made some good ground on it so far, but there's much more to go. And uh, we're still cooking on it. So uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out the videos. And, uh, well, I'll see you next time. Bye.